right, everybody, welcome to part two of this collection video of 59 Red Lines. We continue opening the bags. We continue opening the bags, and now we have a Diora. I believe it came with no surfboards, unfortunately. Oh, but look at the color. Look at the color. It's nice. Yes, there's always going to have to be something in the collection that really appeals to me in order for me to buy a collection. And in this case, there was several oddities and... A red Diora, which I love red Dioras. This one is real nice. Oh, we're going to put it up on the top row because it's so darn pretty. Look better with surfboards. Wait a minute. Is it sitting? Yep. It's got spring and everything. It looks like it's sitting properly. Yay. Red Diora. Red Diora. Oh, red Diora. You know, I drop a lot of things. Let's see. What is this? Got a spoiler. Oh. 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 Mighty Maverick. I believe it's a Mighty Maverick in pink. Is it? Is it? Yes, it is. It's a Mighty Maverick in pink. Uh, I've got a few of these around. This one's got a little bit of a weak spoiler on the back. But the color is good. Light wear. Light chips. Very good color. I don't see any toning on this at all. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. The cars like that make buying... Uh oh. Oh, what is the deal? What is it? It's so funny, I set it on here and it starts to act funny like it's crooked or something, but it's it's not, it's just fine. I guess we'll have to start going like that, I guess, because cars are just acting weird on there. I think I need a better, I need a better thing, a bigger, better, something like that. All right, oh, look at that. How did this one come out unscathed? Unscathed, who uses that as a word anyway? All right, it's a copper Maserati Mistral. Is it Mistral or Mistral? I don't know. All I can say is it's great. It's great. You know, I don't have that kind of voice. I do know who did make that voice, though. I did recently. Oh, who was that? Green splitting image. Green splitting image. Look at that tiny little crack in there. They always have that for some reason. A green splitting image. Beautiful wheels on there. Look at that. Nice wheels. Nice car. A lot of times a car that has this nice of wheels on there does not get away with them. They get pushed over to uh, some other car. Like these go on a 36 Ford Coupe. All the U.S. cars have these on, on like all fours. And so a lot of times you just tend to put them, take them and put them on the better cars. And then the poor little splitting images have to suffer with old worn out black shoes. Oh, so sad. All right, what's this? Oh, let's see. Ah, oh, weird. Weird. It is a Mod Quad. Mod Quad. Green. Green's a good color. And look at that chrome. So bright on the engines. And then even under all the paint chips, there's bright chrome. That's crazy. That is crazy. It's like somebody sat down with a little tool and banged the paint off of it. Hmm. Makes no sense. But it's pretty darn cool. Green. Mod Quad Green. I don't even know if I have a... I'd like a perfect one. Thank you. Just send me one right away. Perfect green Mod Quad. I might have one. I might not. And here we got Mercedes. Another car that typically every collection has. The Mercedes. Which probably was thought to be pretty cool back in the day. Mercedes. Put that down there. Who doesn't want a Mercedes? I used to want a Mercedes. Not anymore. Not anymore. Too practical. And we've got a blue turbo fire. A blue turbo fire. And I tell you what. If you start searching for a mint blue turbo fire, you probably won't find it. It is so hard. Turbo fires are always messed up somehow. At least in several ways. But man, getting a mint one, forget about it. Getting mint to anything, of course, is hard enough. Twin mill. Twin mill. Twin mill. That is a weird dark red color. It's just super duper toned. See, it's supposed to be red like that, but it turned out red like this. Super duper toned. Wow. Super weird. Super weird. But I like every car, so what the heck. It's going to be a big collection. It's a big collection. There's the bag. 441. Corvette. Oh, Corvette got beat up pretty good. Corvette got beat up pretty good. But it's still completely intact. You know, they're supposed to have small wheels on the front of the Corvette. 
But I've found a few of them with large, with medium wheels. And a blue Corvette. That's not in great shape. Not in great shape. There's one couple of oddities in this collection and one key piece. I keep searching for it. Oh, what do we got here? Let's see. Come on out. Oh, blue Ford Mark IV. Blue U.S. Ford Mark IV. Is that the hard one? Is it the blue or is it the blue U.S. Lola? Let me go check. All right, I think it's the uh, actually the blue U.S. Lola with a white clear window that is the hard one to find. All this, this one is quite pretty. Got really nice color on it. I'd be tempted to take those stripes and things off, but I don't do that much work. But it is uh, got really nice color for a Ford Mark IV. Really nice color. And I've got to go over my collection here this year, figure out what it is I've got and what I need and what I don't need. About time for that. And here we've got a 57 T-Bird. 57 T-Bird in another kind of a lightish red. A lot of wear on that, which is typical because it's so sharp across here. You can't help but bang off the paint a little bit. But it's decent, and it makes for a good, good low-budget bargain basement. Well, not bargain basement, but you know what I'm saying. Hot wheel. And a woody wagon. A woody wagon in green. Green is a great color for a woody wagon, and this one's in good shape. It's a little dusty right now, but this this one is in great shape. And I don't think I have this color combination, green with a white interior and a black top. I may not have that. I'm going to have to check it out. A friend of mine, Todd, has like 100 woody wagons. And I know I have about 60 woody wagons. Pretty sure. I like that one. I really like that one. See? That's how it works. Buy a collection, and you can go like, wow, I really like that one. I really like that one, and I really like that one. And it makes it all worth it. Plus, I live for red. I li literally live for Redline Hot Wheels. It is my bag, baby. Look at this crazy thing. Now, this is a Rose Volkswagen, but it's super, super dark. And typically on eBay, people get carried away and start calling this like magenta enamel. Or some crazy thing like that. But it's just because sometimes these rows get super dark. And it looks like magenta enamel. It's not. It's not. It's just rows all toned up like terrible, terrible mess. All right. I'm going to keep all these plastic bags. I'm going to ship out cars in these plastic bags. I don't want to waste. I don't like to waste this stuff. All right. And we got another turbo fire this time in aqua. An aqua turbo fire. Decent wheels on it. Aqua Turbo Fire. Boy, I got a lot of work to do. Jeez Louise. A lot of cars. This collection was lost in the ether for like three weeks. And now it's finally here. All right. And a red Shelby Turbine. A red Shelby Turbine. What do you think? Right there. Red Shelby Turbine. Some of the colors in this collection are kind of boring. So the nice ones really stand out. Really a shame about that mod quad over there, that green one. It is pretty darn sweet. Ah, uh, we got a paddy wagon. Of course we have a paddy wagon. Every collection does. Except this one's got the silver. This one does have the silver writing, which is harder than the gold writing. Not that it's a big deal or anything, but it does have it. Most of them are gold. And here we go. Lotus uh, Lotus Turbine. Look at this. This one's in great shape. Got to straighten out that wheel. There we go. And we got <clears throat> orange Lotus Turbine. That's a, that's kind of a harder color, I think. I think I'd have to verify. I'd have to double check. I hate to say anything. I don't know for sure. Here we've got we've got mm, what is this? Mm, this something here. Oh, Ferrari 312P in red. Ferrari 312P in red, Spectre Flame, Hong Kong. Pretty, pretty nice, pretty decent. Looks good. Of course, everything looks good in the video, especially if, yeah, it just does. They just tend to, everything looks good. Okay, we're getting through here now. We're up in about nine minutes or so. Coming up on 10. We're going to run this baby out, run the clock out. What do we got here? Python, Python red. All right. Just your basic red python. It's not a cheetah. Could have been a cheetah. That'd be cool. 
I'd like to find a cheetah. What does that mean, do you say? Well, that means that uh, some of the pre-production samples didn't say python, they said cheetah, which is what the model is based on, the cheetah custom car show. If you could find that, you would be very happy. This feels like a peeping bomb. Yep, it's a green peeping bomb, a very bright green. Very cool. That's one of the harder colors, I think, on the peeping bomb. It definitely looks nice. Better than aqua. Green, bright, and bright as day. Bright as day? Is that a thing? Wait a, minute. Wait a minute. What is this? What is this next one? Look at this. Hope you're enjoying my videos. I do have so many videos. So many, so many. Just to keep on watching. Fire Chief Cruiser, bright red. Fire Chief Cruiser, bright red. Actually in very nice shape. Very nice shape, don't you think? Very nice shape. Ah, we got another pile. We've got more. Oh, this just box just doesn't end. It just keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. All right, we got a pile. We're going to finish it all in this video, too, so stay tuned. You might want to take a break and get you something to munch on. Sit back and enjoy the ride. And it's a nice red Torero. A very nice red Torero. Look at that. Wheels are not great on this one. Might have to do a little swapping around, but this red is... All right, start up the camera again. Reach the maximum recording time. When you record in 1080p... 1080... Oh, can't show you that one yet. 1080... When you record in 1080p, 60 frames per second, you can only go so long. And then it'll shut off. White Jackrabbit Special. Jack a Rabbit Special. And that every collection comes with a Jackrabbit Special. Let's accelerate. Let's get through this. I gotta get through this. Purple. Wow, oh, we're getting better all the time. Purple. Look at that. Purple. Purple Nomad. Purple Nomad. No, don't be mad. Silly thing. Silhouette. Oops, silhouette. Purple. Purple again. Silhouette. Look at that hand. Look at that hand. How old are you anyway, Dave? Not old enough. No, too old. I don't know. Oh, look at that. Rose. Oh, my goodness. This one's good. This one's very good. Rose Continental. Look at that. A little Tony on this side. Yeah, very Tony on this side. Can't tell because the light's shining on it, but if you don't shine the light on it, you can see the darkening. See the darkening. Oh, now I can see it. Oh, they're going to fall down. Now I can see it on the roof. Oh, dear. But I tell you what, if you uh, have toned up cars, just put a really bright light on them and that toning just goes away magically. Porsche 917 Lime. Lime yellow. Not yellow, but lime or lime yellow. That's what they call it in the book. Books, usually. And there we go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got about nine cars left to go, so hang in there. Hang in there on this extra long edition of collection opening. Now look at this sad thing. It's a Mustang, but it's not great. But look, it has deep dish wheels on the front, and it's got the gold painted tail. So it is a hard one be really hard to get a perfect minty one, but, uh, you know, here's, here's kind of a filler. Kind of a filler Mustang. There. I feel like going, whoosh, wipe all those away. Um, there we go. There we go. AMX, custom AMX, 1969 in lime. Lime, and it's toned up real good. Toned up real good, but it looks decent. Looks real decent. That's a real decent car. Like I said, I wish I had these the other day at the convention. We've had some nice mid-budget and low-budget cars to sell. Of course, I'm going to keep the ones I like. Of course, come on. Keep the ones I like. That's what this is all about. All collectors do that. Every collector would like to find a collection to buy and then keep the ones he wants. That's just the way it works. Now, look at that. See, there's always a special car in every collection. This is a yellow 
Look at that. Look at the chromey yellow on this sea cider. Wow. This is awesome. I love displaying chromey cars. This one's gorgeous. I think this might be better than one I have already, which is a chromey yellow. Needs a wheel swap. But that is great. Look at that. Can you tell the chrome? I think you can. Do I need more light? Get over here around the white. No, that didn't work. It is chromey. Chromey yellow. Pretty sure this one's even more chromey than the last chromey one I found. All right, everybody out of the way. Get Make room for chromey. Chromey sea cider. And another silhouette. Here we go. Here it comes. There it is. No, nope, beating band no motor. All right. There's actually a reproduction motor you can slap in there, which I probably will do. Slap it in there. Put it in the bargain basement. And it freeze. Yeah, it's kind of a hard color, really. Got those stripes on there, which may or may not come off. May or may not. I guess you'd have to soak them off, perhaps. I don't know. If you have any ideas, want to make comments, you know how to do it, right? Comment below. I don't get a ton of comments because people are so blown away by the content of my videos that they just they just go away in awe. Don't have time to comment. All right, Red Baron. Red Baron is your average shape, Red Baron. Oh, wait a minute. Is that spike extra large? Hey, what's the deal on that? That seems awfully large. Hmm. Okay, I checked up the Universal Book of Knowledge, and that's normal. But it just seems large to me. I don't know. Maybe I just haven't been looking at them lately. But that just seems an awful, like an awfully big spike on that. Oh, is that a big spike on your helmet? Or are you just happy to see me, partner? Okay. Family friendly. Knock it off, Dave. All right, here we go. Hot heap. Hot heap green. A good all-around decent condition hot heap in good color. Needs a little dust off, but she's quite quite adequate. She's adequate green. Adequate. That could be a rating. Oh, and you have adequate, inadequate, exceptional. Needs to work harder. Oh, that was my grading in grade school, isn't it? Mantis. Mantis is the second to last car to come out of the box. Oh, man, this thing just keeps getting shorter and shorter. I guess my camera is full up, so I have to stitch these together a little bit. But we got a nice lime mantis in a decent shape. And the piece de resistance every collector wants. What is it? It's, 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 ah, Olds 442. This one is red. Red is a tougher color. Hood is intact. Paint is real decent, real decent. Light toning throughout. Red, yay. There's not so many reds, mostly magentas and rose, but here is red. Spoiler, a little stiff for a original spoiler, actually, but uh, I think it's original. Let's don't have any reason to believe it's not, but it is a little on the stiff side. Usually they're quite soft, but uh, some of them are, I believe, stiff. So here we got, here it is, the Piesta de Resistance, the main reason to buy a collection like this, Red 442. Yes, Red 442. Could use a stripe set. Wouldn't that look cool with a stripe set on it? Mm. But stripes are very expensive, especially no originals. Very expensive. So that's looking real darn sharp. I typically will... Upgrade the wheels to perfection, even on a... I could just leave this one alone. I don't know what I'll do. Anyway, let's go through the highlights real quickly. Red 442. Red Diora. Oh, I think I like red. Green Woody Wagon. Green Woody Wagon. And let's see. What else is really cool? Oh, of course, this beautiful Seasider. Look at that thing. And the fact that it had a lot of 68s and a pink Maverick and all these great cars. It was a fantastic collection. I'm really glad I got it. And thank you to the fellow, the fellow in Cuyahoga Falls for sending me this lovely collection. It finally arrived and here it is. And I shared it with you and I appreciate you watching. Be sure to check out my website, toycarcollector.com. That's www.toycarcollector.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Bye now.